Look at this. I got headphones <laughs> on. I got a mic going. <laughs> Baby. Huh? If only people could see you now. <laughs> hey, no video. We've gone through this before. All right, no all video. right, all right. <laughs> Welcome to This Commerce Life. This is a podcast aimed at small, medium entrepreneurs focused on commerce. I'm Phil, your host, and Kenny, your co-host, will join us as well. And we're going to talk to you about the world of retail and commerce and how things are changing in the world. Okay, where's my... How do I... What am I? There's, I had something here that that did my mic thingy, but I don't remember what this what this is called. The mic thingy. Whatever my there's an app that gets attached to this mic thingy, but I don't remember what it's called. Anyway, whatever. Are you are you on an iPad or are you on uh, your laptop? No, yeah, I'm on the on my uh, MacBook. Okay. okay. But again, just because I want to make sure that it's that it's that it's sounding okay. Yeah. Because I can't. Um, I don't know how to do volume. Oh, I got you. Click if you want to switch to a different microphone. No, I don't want to do that. No. I'm just going to leave it. It's all good. <laughs> all good in the hood. <clears throat> yeah, we're done. Yeah, we're done. The house with the black uh, black backdrop. So I'm actually in. So what? Uh, a couple of weekends ago, we because uh, my like my whole family's in music, right? So my daughter sings a, a ton. And so I set up a little um, studio in the basement for her. Um, so all of this is moving blanket because um, it insulates echo. Yeah. Um, and so I've, I've got it all the way around. We've got um, like a little soundboard that's about to get like a whole lot bigger. And then there's, uh, I don't know, there's one, two, three mics here. And then there's some pickup wires for uh, guitars and ukuleles and trying to figure out if we can um, bring the piano down or, or run a keyboard down here as well. Uh, and then we've got this little kind of studio. Um, I'm to my mic. Yeah. 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 No. So it's, it's pretty cool. Like the, the funny thing is like on the other side, we, you know, when the kids were small, we used a lot of bean bags um, cause they like sitting on bean bags and now bean bags are just really great at insulating sound. So like my entire wall that you can't see behind here, is like stacked up with like pillows and bean bags. It soaks up echo. Uh, yeah, it makes total, uh, makes total you know, sense. sense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's it's uh, it's kind of wicked fun. So we um, you know we kind of do a lot down here and we we screw around. I'm trying. I'm leading the way on. I'm trying to get us a drum set. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that goes. So yeah. Yeah, I uh, I don't know right how to on. play drums, but I'll figure it right out. On. Yeah, yeah. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So I'm I've I've moved. So now to make sure I can you know kind of use all the right space, I I moved from my desk. Um, sorry, I'm moving this this wire thingy, but um, I moved from my desk down to the studio too. So now I'm in the studio. I'm re I'm in a recording studio. Wow, you're like a big shot. <laughs> no. <laughs> I hang out with a big shot. <laughs> More like a hack who's got some fancy some fancy toys, that's all. Well, I should get the hack to figure out to show me how to use my freaking microphone because I don't know how to adjust volume. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to do that part. Oh, whatever. Oh man. Whatever. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Really good. Yeah? yeah, it's good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. You're at the C H A C H F A show. Yeah. How was you that? It was really good, you know. It's um, I mean, I think I told everybody the same thing. You know what? It, what's nice about it is you walk around, and it's such a positive industry. It, it really is. I mean, it's and it, and it, it, like the retailers are positive. Yeah. Um, the majority of the vendors are positive. Like it's a good industry, right? Like natural health and and health foods yeah. are just one. It's it's kind of cool. There's a lot of neat stuff out there. Yeah. But people are just generally, they're pretty optimistic. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. It's, it's really weird, right? If you go to a grocery show or a drug show, like, they're boring as hell. Like, people are just, you know, pissing yeah. and moaning about this and that yeah. and this and that. In this industry, yeah, it just kind of goes with a flow, you know, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, 
<clears throat> generally more well-adjusted people. I mean, um, you know, like CHFA stands for Canadian Health Food Association. So you tend to be around, not to generalize, but you tend to be around slightly more granola types, right? There's that, a lot of granola, a lot of hippies. You know. Yeah, yeah, right. But then there's a lot of, you know, a lot of mainstream too, yeah. because mainstream has figured out that, yeah, they need to be in these places, right? Well, plus, yeah. you know, hanging out with their granolas and hippies is a shitload more fun than than the suits. <laughs> than the blue, if you've ever yeah, been, you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The blue suits, right? Like I call it Toronto blue, blue suit. Yeah. yeah, it's a Toronto feel, right? It is. You yeah. know, when you go to meetings here and like you go in and we don't have ties oh. and all the Toronto guys come in in blue, blue or gray. Yeah. Suits with the red power tie or the blue power tie. Like, you know, like seriously, it's it's a it's like standard code. It's like I think they go in their closets. Holy shit, man, we're from Toronto. What are we gonna wear? So wait, wait, what are you? Are you are you a blue suit with a red power tie guy or are you a gray suit with a blue power tie guy? Are you asking the audience? No, I'm asking you. I don't have a suit. Come on, you got I shit you not. I don't have a suit that fits anymore. Really? Okay. No, no, but, like, but I don't, when you're in London, I, listen, I'm, I'm dead. I didn't have one at London. I wore okay. at London. I had, um, but it was probably because it was on sale. I either had a dark, I either had black, yeah, or I might have had a dark blue, but not not the navy blue, not the Toronto navy blue. Like I had a blue, the banker blue, and a dark blue. Yeah, quite yeah. frankly, I hated wearing it. Like yeah, as yeah. soon as I got to my room when we were doing, I, my jack was Thumbs gone. Off. Yeah. Jacket was yeah. gone, tie was gone. Like, yeah. honestly, I, I, I hate it. Yeah. I don't go to weddings in a suit. Like, I get a jacket, a pair of, I mean, the slacks, yeah. they, they don't have to match. No, no, yeah. You, know, you put a nice pair of black pants and a nice gray, a, a gray jacket. I, I won't lie. Like, I, I was a gray. Crazy. I was a gray power suit guy. Gray with a blue power tie. Um, but yeah, no, I, I think in the end, um, I, I, I don't think I have any suits that fit either. I don't even think I've worn a jacket. In no, I, I don't. Easily four or five years. Well, since I left Target, Target yeah. was formal, so I almost didn't take that job. Yeah, yeah. they like they were. We yeah. interviewed, everything was great, and then they said, "Yeah, you know." And uh, by the way, we're formal dressed. And I was like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa!" Like that wasn't part yeah. of the interview. What are you talking about, right? And so they actually changed the rules. Um, and uh, allowed us to go jacket, no tie, or tie, no jacket. And then when I figured out the target, you could wear red and khaki pretty much every day. It was like every variation of red, red and khaki I can think of, like khaki top, red pants, you know. Uh, well, at least that's a little more fun, pants. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had red Converse, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> it made, yeah. I'm pretty sure you it know, made management crazy, but, you know. You know, and I'm fine with it. I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, if you want to dress up, you know, I'm, and, and I'm sure there's people that are more comfortable in a suit and tie and God yeah. bless you do. Yeah, yeah, more power to you. Quite frankly, I'm not. I just don't, I don't like it. Jeans. Right. Today I actually yeah. dressed up. I had black jeans, this black yeah, short sleeve. shirt on jeans. or I wondered if and you I were working nice... at the coffee shop or something like, you know, were you filling in or? Well, I got a, what do you mean? I'm not, I got a, <laughs> like I'm not on a t-shirt. I got a collared shirt for Christ's sake. <laughs> I know. <sake>. That's... <laughs> I mean, it's short sleeves, yeah. but. <laughs> Like, whatever no i went to a meeting today you know what i thought you know yeah. it's so stupid i thought i'd just dress it up a little bit yeah but black cool. is black jeans and a black shirt that's cool right I, that's yeah i mean christ otherwise you know maybe even amelia's giving me shit she goes step it up a little bit like, what for you know what when i wear anything besides <laughs> jeans and a shirt like just a like like this right like just a shirt yeah. the kids go daddy are you going to see a customer today are yeah, where you are you going? Customer special? Like, right? And I'm like, no, I, I just thought I'd wear something nice. They're like, you never dress like this. What, what do you? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, Daniel said to he goes, well, you look good today, Dad. Where are you going? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to the same place I went to every other week, Daniel. It's not, you know, <laughs> why are you so dressed up? I think, okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, I, I get the same thing. And I, and yeah. I thought, well, you know, it's just nice. At least I knew I wouldn't look like a complete slob. Yeah. But quite frankly, I mean, I, I don't, I don't really, you yeah, know. gives a him. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're going to, you know, like, I, yeah, I'm sure that I've, you know, I've, I guess I've probably done it. I'm sure that I've walked up to a ton of people or, or if I never met the client, I'd like meet in the coffee bar. They think, what the hell are yeah. we doing? Yeah. Like, well, this is, this is what's gonna, this is what's gonna help us. Yeah. 
because I'm usually like in blue jeans, t-shirt, you know. Yeah. I have a few tattoos, obviously. So, I mean, it's, you know, I kind of look, definitely don't look the part, I guess. Whatever part I guess I'm supposed to look like. I'm not too sure what the hell I'm supposed to look like. But I don't know. I don't care. Don't care either. It's all good in the hood, man. It's all good in the hood. Yeah. Yeah, Anyway, it was a good weekend. It was a good show. Positive, positive. Um, Picked up a few more special needs accounts, you know. Nice. Nice. Like, like I like I need that like I need any more special needs, but lovely people yeah. once again. You know the usual. Yeah, okay, sure, you're nice people. Oh, sure. Yep. And then I did the same thing. I just passed them off. Okay, talk to this person. Okay, you go talk to this one. Okay, no, you need to figure out costing, and then you go talk to these people. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, it's what we talk about, right? Like, we, I like doing that stuff. I love doing that stuff. And then when when they've got desire and they've got the willingness to do it, I just think it's amazing. You know? But I'm, why would you not? Again, we do this every every week. We yeah. say, this, why would you help? Why would you not? You know? Why would what you? What does it not? cost? Yeah. What does it cost? It doesn't cost me anything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So 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 you know, I I see. I saw this week. I think three or four new people. That'll basically all that basically all got an hour to an hour and a half for nice. you know gratis as usual. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. I'll probably end up doing another hour, an hour and a half on each of them via text or phone yeah. for the standard uh, nothing. Yeah. And, uh, that'll be it. It's awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> but you know, you pass them on to some friends. Yeah. You know, here's a good broker for you. You know, here's a good yeah. distributor. Yeah. You know, this is what I would do. Take a look at this. Yeah. And they all want to pay. That's the thing. They everybody go, I'll pay. I say, I I understand that. It's not yeah, you know, for, for two hours or three hours. I mean, yeah, I, I mean I'd be nice to get paid, but at the same time, obviously it's not bothering me. Don't 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 let it bother yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got you. Whatever. I got you. All right. Yeah. yeah. Man. All good in the hood. How's it work? It's good. It's good, man. Messaging, messaging, more messaging, crafting it down, whittling it down. Um it's very, um, like, it's very real life, right? Like, it's, it's really, you know, if you're a small business, you're wondering what's happening. Like, like the, the company I'm at now, I'm, I'm full-time. We're, we're, we make money. We have a revenue stream. And um, it's kind of the same thing. Like, you know, it's, it's like the business is like everybody else's business. Like, we, I'm going through marketing stuff. I'm rewriting the way we, we say things, the way we do things. But I'm not done, right? Like I'm, I'm not anywhere close to being done what the marketing message should be. But I'm already rewriting, you know, stuff. You know, it's all shift on fly, right? Like, and, and it's no different, you know, like today, you know, we're writing some, you know, because we deal with a lot of pharmaceutical. Um, and so I'm rewriting some parts for an FDA document that we've got to be able to do, right? And, um, you know, they're like, hey, you know, how do you want to do this? And I'm like, I don't know. Like I'm not done my marketing message. So I don't know how this is going to go, but I think it's going to go like this. Right. So it's really, it's kind of funny, right? Like you're, you know, even big companies really go through what little companies go through, right? You make it up as you go. I'm running an ad because I need to generate some leads for my sales guys. And um, even then they're going, well, do you have the marketing message? I'm like, kind of, sort of. So that's common. Don't worry about it. Just get the lead. I'm going to run this one. And, And they're like, but it's not right. I'm like, it's mostly right, you know, and we'll go and it's going to keep changing, right? Because once I get it right, it's not going to be right anymore anyway. I'm going to have to keep doing it. So, yeah, but the thing is, you're also, you're, yeah. you're, you're learning and you just, just do it. Yeah. yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. You're, you're growing as yeah. you grow and you learn as you, I mean, whatever, yeah. bro. How about, how, how, yeah. how often can it be? Yeah, I know. Well, and, and the thing is, is like, it's funny too, because I feel like I've been there four months, but I've been there four weeks. Like literally, this is my fourth week. We're at the end of February. It feels like you've been there forever too. Yeah, it, it feels like I've been there forever because I am working on like 10,000. It's like whack-a-mole. But then yeah. you, you step back and you look at it and go, all of the people that listen to us, right, that are, you know, kind of small, medium businesses, they're all going through the same things, right? And they all go, how do big companies do it? Like, they do it the same way. <laughs> it's all you know whack-a-mole. what? Well, you're a, you might be a bigger company, yeah, yeah. but you're really still a startup. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. So at the end are. of the day, it's it's are. the same thing. Yeah. It's it, you know, whether you're a, an ADD yeah. you know, entrepreneur with by yourself or with 10 people or an ADD company with 60 people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's just you know, you can you yeah. can be a large startup. Yeah. You're yeah. just 
a yeah. large startup. Not, not to give you guys despair or anything, right? Because it does, you know, there are cool things you get to do. Budgets are a little bit bigger, right? Because, you know, now that you can afford 60 all relative, people, though, right? uh, you know, it's all relative. But it's all relative. You, have, uh, you also have 50 you know, to 60 people you have to pay. Yeah. So yeah. at the end well, of the day, it's this, you know, the numbers, they just, they're just, they just go with. It's all runway, right? Number. Like it's runway is, you know, not a big deal. is still, uh, yeah, I mean, runway is still a big deal, right? So we, we worry about when we're going to run out of money, when we go to. Exactly. Fund. And all that kind of stuff, right? So it's the same thing, yeah. But it's yeah, it's, it's good. Just, like it's, yeah. uh, you're liking I'm, it. I'm I'm doing what I love, right? Like I I am strategic marketing. I am rewriting copy. I'm I'm thinking about how the company needs to go forward. I'm affecting the way we talk to customers now, um, and that's the stuff I love, right? Like so, I'm doing that. I'm doing that with these guys. I've been writing. Uh, into locate and I were, we're doing some, we launched a, an article this week. We're going to do a whole bunch of, um, uh, a whole bunch of like kind of blog articles and topics on, on generational change and how it affects software. Um, so I'm going to do that with into locate, uh, over the next month or so. And that's going to be pretty wicked. Um, you know, there's just some really, really cool stuff, um, coming. So, you know, yeah. that's awesome, man. That, that's, that's good. Like you, yeah. you there's, you know, there's shit happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, you know, like I, I, I think it's it's funny because the full time job feels like really just half a job because there's so many other things. I mean, um, we got the marketing deck out for your for our friend the other yeah. day. Who's looking at? Um, I sent you a note today. Yeah. Wants to, I guess, look at it uh, yeah. more in depth. It sounds like he wants to drag yeah. you into his mess. He uh, he definitely does. Um, yeah. I, I saw his request today, and I. Um, I haven't answered him because I, I, I'm, I need to be really deliberate about that one. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just not sure how I can manage that properly and do it justice. So I got, I got to think it through and figure out if there's a way I can do that. I think for the short term, what you do is just walk through maybe more of the stay on the very high level, like the actual, the actual, um, postings and all that stuff can be farmed out here if need be. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. It just needs to be, you know, farmed out. Got to just figure out who to farm it out to. Yeah. And what does it look like and what are we trying to do? And they just need to understand sort of more where the marketing, um, where, where yeah. the strategy lies. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think that's hard to communicate. Like I said, when I read, when I read through it, it's, it's a lot of what we talked about. It's, it's yeah. more, it's more or less where I thought we'd end up, but it's like anything until you actually see it on paper. Well, you know, now you got a, plan, talking points. a plan isn't any good, right? Like, I mean, when you're an entrepreneur and it's all up here, it's great, right? But if you want a team to work with you, it's got to go on paper, right? Like even, even for us, right? That we're, we're not proposal guys or anything like that. But if you want the plan to work, it's, it's got to go on paper somewhere. What's so that? everybody well, understands. My proposal went through. You know? So I'm, I'm starting. Uh, oh, nice. I see the, the guys nice. on um, next Tuesday and Wednesday before I head to uh, Expo. So, so you actually, you actually wrote a proposal. Yeah. Nice. Well, I mean, I don't know if it was a proposal. I wrote something on paper. <laughs> I don't know the hell I wrote. <laughs> Obviously enough for them to kind of think, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, who knows what the hell I wrote? I mean, I, I you know, I, I told her, she goes, why do you think you got it? I said, well, I think a large part I got it. I think we had a really nice conversation at the coffee bar too. Yeah. I'm not expensive. Yeah. Right. I mean, if they were going to go out and get this done in the real world, it's probably be like three times that. Right. Yeah. So, and I, and I wanted the gig. I didn't, I didn't care. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right. Yeah. But it's a nice little contract. I'm super yeah. stoked to do it. Yeah. Like, I think yeah. it's going to be just a hoot. That's so it. I've been prepping for it and getting myself yeah. ready. Cause I have to go in and I guess I'll be interviewing the staff or, yeah. or the buyers next week yeah. and then we'll see where it goes. Nice. I'm stoked on it though. I, I think it's going to be a hoot. That's going to be wicked fun. It's I, be wicked fun. Yeah. I think so. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But. Yeah. So I know at least I, I know I, I can write a proposal or at least I think I can write a proposal. I'm sure you can write I it. Don't, did, I don't know. Did the stuff I sent you help at all? It didn't hurt. Okay. Okay. Right. My internet connection is unstable again. That's okay. Fortnite. Yeah. It, honestly, it's, it's always well, the same. Fortnite's got a new season. So, so uh, 18. I, I, um, I got in trouble tonight because uh, there's a new season. I play with the kids. So the kids were excited to get on. So um, I came home from work. And, and so we got on. Like, 
I like it because it's my moment to like talk to the kids and just see yeah. what's going on, right? Um, and, You're lying. Uh, you just like to play Fortnite. I, I do know, like to play did. Fortnite. I like Why to play with them, that? right? So you know, so so the wife talk comes to in. the kids. So who are you talking? I'm just talking. What the hell's going? Oh no, no, you do a lot of talking during video games. It's it's hilarious, right? And she's like, "What the hell's going on?" I'm like, "It's all right. It's new season. We're gonna play a couple of games, you know." And uh, but it was all four of us on on playing, right? So she, you know. Anyway, it was fun. But uh, yeah. I can hear Daniel chirping away with his friends. Okay, don't go yeah. there. Okay, okay, get behind me, get behind me, get behind yeah. me. Okay, shoot the above, above. I'm thinking, okay, Jesus. But, but here's the thing is, so <laughs> it is kind of the perfect place to plant questions that you want to be asking the kids because all the guards are down, right? Like they're yeah. focused on the game. So they're going to answer whatever you ask without really knowing what they're answering, right? Yeah. So, you know, and you get pretty truthful answers, right? So I try not to sucker them, but... You know, certainly if there's something, dad, so of course you do. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with them. It's a good time. So, yeah, it's yeah. awesome, man. Yeah. yeah. So That's anyway. awesome. Yeah. yeah. Aren't you traveling next week? Aren't you? I am Are you going somewhere or is it the week after? I don't know. No, not. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. End of next week. I'm going somewhere. Um, Friday. I'm leaving with the kids. We're going to Chicago for like four days because um, it's right at the edge of March break. Oh, cool. Um, and then like some silliness starts, right? Is that next week? Yeah, that's next week. So I, I leave Friday. Yeah, I leave Friday. I'm back Tuesday. And then the following Wednesday, I leave for Orlando. Oh, that's what it is. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got to write those lessons. So I don't have my lectures set up yet. Um, so I got to do that. Um, yeah. I do that. That's turned into a nice little trip. I mean, uh, you go down, hang out with the pet people. We're going to talk um, how social media needs to fold back into your marketing strategy, which is a lot of what you and I have been talking about. Yeah. Um, so, so I'm going to lead them that way. Uh, we're going to do that. And then the other one that you and I talk a lot about that I'm going to do there as well is, um, you know, just how you prioritize your time. So how do you figure out what your time's worth? Um, you know, when do you walk away? When do you decide how to chase new opportunities? How do you calculate, um, you know, a bit of time value calculation? Um, cause I think, I think entrepreneurs just really struggle with that stuff. Right. So I think they totally do yeah. because I don't think they put any value on their time at times. Sometimes yeah. I think, you know, yeah. what it is, it's just cheaper to do it yourself when quite frankly, no, it's not. Yeah. And especially yeah. like if you're talking to a lot of these pet people, they're, they're, I'm assuming there are a lot of our store owners. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So every moment they spend doing something not customer centric, and I mean customer in front of them, yeah, that's a lost sale for the most part because yeah. the expert in the store is probably them, yeah, not the people they've left to mm -hmm. watch the store. Mm -hmm. Not that they're bad people, because I mean, mm -hmm. they're typically younger people, but mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you come into oh, you know, Phil's yeah. pet store because I want to talk to yeah. Phil, yeah. Right. Well, he's the guy, right? He he buys well, the, his store, you know, man. That's that's the guy I want to talk. I want to talk to his assistant or yeah, yeah. his clerk or where the hell's Phil? Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And Phil can't be doing something stupid. I mean, that's that's the problem with entrepreneurials. Yeah. Entrepreneurials. Entrepreneurs is that you get into. I know it's late. Fuck. Is you get into the? I haven't had a day off. Okay, since I swear yeah. to God, I'm, I, I'm right, right with you, man. You know, right with you. <laughs> But, you know, you just get, it's just, you just, yeah, you just, you just, you're running on, you know, shit you got to do at home. Yeah. Like all your social media. I know you don't want to do it at home, but you know what? You're an entrepreneur. That's part of the yeah. game. Yeah, that is, you know, and you're you wasted just, work. You do it. So, yeah, I don't know. So, so those are the things I'm, I'm going to cover while I'm there. Um, so we're going to do that. And then I'm doing this. I've, it's my third time doing it with them. And I, I actually really love it. So it's called Bark Your Biz. And it's kind of like a Dragon's Den panel. Um, cool. so, so there's me and there's a guy named uh, BC Henshin who runs a retail chain at West uh, in Cali. Um, and then Anthony Benny who runs, um, he runs a pet brand and he's kind of the brainchild behind this. So people come up and pitch their brands. They have to be little brands. And then uh, I think at the show in Philly last year, we basically gave a, an hour away of consulting. And so if you won, you got an hour with each of the you know people on the panel so we can kind of coach you through your retail. Um, but really cool, right? Like you just, That's kind of nice though, right? I mean, we do yeah. that all the time anyway. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Because anyone who phones us is a contest winner. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much, yeah. Hey, you win. Yeah, yay, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> you know, <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez. Ah, oh, shit. But it's good. It's it's a nice little trip. So I go, I'm going to do that for two days. And then Friday and Saturday, we're going to golf. Um, so I got two buddies coming down. They're nice. going to, they're going to lose their minds. Right. Like, cause, um, the Wednesday we arrive, like they, they almost forget, right. Because they, they come down because we get a great rate on the hotel. Right. You know, the whole bit. And so they were like, okay, so we book golf on Wednesday and then Thursday and then we'll go Friday, Saturday. And I was like, guys, I can't like, I'm coming out. I'm going to do some work. I'm, I'm going to be with pet people. I'm like, all right, so you're out Thursday, but we can golf Wednesday after we land. I'm like, listen, no. Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> I you guys will. can, but I'm not like, I, yeah. you know, like I'm here. I'm going to, I'm going to do some networking. I'm going to, you know, so yeah, yeah. But well, or just get some other shit done, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I mean, with you're there for different different purposes. You know, yeah. it's it's yeah, it's a different it's a different gig, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's cool. It's cool. It's uh, it's good. It's good. The chaos is um, subsiding a little bit. I think I've got a bit of a rhythm going now. Well, uh, you can definitely tell you your 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 calmer your is not that disheveled shit show. <laughs> Yeah, you look like you're actually grounded, relatively yeah, yeah. speaking. Yeah. Well, I actually, and I got, I got to work out the other night, so I, I did wow. some running and did some yoga, you know, because because I've I figured out, but it, but it is, it is not for the faint-hearted. So they're not, you know, I can kind of afford to take like a couple hours off. Yeah. But but every night there's there's something right, and so if I if I miss, you know, it's it's kind of. It's kind of bad news, right? There's just a lot more to go. You know, the problem is though that that's every day, every night. You, yeah. you got to still make the time yeah. to do other stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. And at the end of the day, quite frankly, listen, if you weren't there, that should be piling up, and they'd be handing out presentations and shit that was, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, kindergarten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so at least you got them to grade yeah. ten or eleven, right? I mean, you yeah. killed it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm kind of like, university. You know, I know. So I'm, I'm kind of loving it. Like I, I like doing the full-time thing. Um, this one's, this one's weird too. Well, it's good because I'm not in the office every day, right? Like I can be there when I want to be there, not be there as long as I hit the meetings and stuff like that. So I kind of break it up. If I feel like I've been at the office too many days, then I fail, stay at home for a day and kind of work things through. I'm, I'm sure that'll change when I get a team, but Right now, it's just me. Not and necessarily. I mean, as long as you're available. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you don't need you don't need someone in your office. You don't need to physically be there. You just don't. Mm-mm. I mean, not, not today. today. I mean, you got Zoom. You got yeah. phones. You got FaceTime. There's a million ways. I mean, it's, you don't need to. Yeah. I mean, it's good. I mean, I like I like being, you know, I like being in buildings too. Like, I like yeah. going in and out, saying hi to people. I, you know, the human contact yeah. is is nice. Great. But I yeah. love the fact that I can sit at home on the couch. Yeah. you know, with the TV on and just yeah. get some, you know, just yeah. get some shit, shit done. Right? Yeah. And you get distracted for a little bit, no biggie. And then grind away when you're ready. And you know, I well, like, that's just it. That's why I'm looking forward yeah. to tomorrow. I've got, um, I think I, I've got a nine o'clock with a, a little, um, chai tea company, mm-hmm. um, for a couple hours. And then I think I'm going to go see another client just to get some stuff. And then I'm, I, I'm really hoping to be home by like one, one thirty. Yeah. Maybe for the two, day, and yeah. that's it. Yeah, nice. And I'll just fart around. Maybe do some reports, but it's going to be basically if I do another five hours of work. Yeah, it's going to be spread out over fifteen. I'm gotten. Yeah. There's no rush. Nice, <clears throat> right? Nice. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I'm looking then, forward to it. And then next week you're at. Um, I leave Wednesday uh, night okay. for uh, okay. for Los Angeles. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah, and then I'll be Thursday at the show, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning come back. And then the following weekend, I'm heading down to Vegas for a closeout. You know who's going to be there? Um, so one of our listeners, uh, Cam. Uh, Cam works at Hubba. But yeah. Cam listens to the show. Like he, uh, It's funny because I met him. He works right around the corner from me now. And I had lunch with him. And he was like, I, I'd ask you what's going on. But I listen to the podcast. So I know you're doing this and this. And this is, uh, you know, like, <laughs> and it's weird, right? Because, you're, you know, you're kind of like, well, sometimes I think it's just you and I talking to each other, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So then I'll have people chime in. Well, you, you should do this with that. And I'm thinking, yeah. what? how do you know that? <laughs> and they're like, you dumbass. <laughs> it you comes out it, every you week. Like, it out. Oh, well, yeah, I guess, I, like, guess no. when I'm talking to Phil, I'm not really talking to Phil. <laughs> I do. I forget because I'm looking and thinking, well, why, why would you know that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, so so Cam's going to be at the show. He's going to be at uh, Natural Expo. So Cam, right on. Kenny's going as well. So uh, if you, oh yeah, just reach out, man. Out. My phone number is on my. Uh, well, you have my phone. I mean, just yeah, yeah, just yeah. text me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. So Cam, you got it. I'm walking Kenny. all over the place. Like I'm everywhere. Yeah. Like I've got I've got a crew on Thursday that I I'm get. I think Thursday I'm going to walk with Luch. Yeah. We're going to do the show together, Luch. and then I how's think Luch? John, man? Luch is good. No, yeah. Luch is always good. I mean, no, yeah. Luch is Luch. Luch is amazing. Yeah, he, yeah. Uh, Luch is a pretty good shit. Like really, yeah. right? So and walk with him. Yeah. And then I think Friday, uh, Friday, Saturday, I'm with the the value group. Okay. And I'll walk them through that. Uh, I think they're going to be just overwhelmed. It's such a big show. Like it's just such a beast. It's a it big really show. Is. Yeah, it's a really big show. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm looking forward to it though. I I really get stoked on that one. I just love that show. Right. This is just so much cool shit. There's going to be. I don't. Know, it's yeah. just. It's just. Yeah. If you're in natural yeah. health, like you just got to be there. Yeah. Like yeah. you just got to be there. Even if you don't present, do it, just walk it. Yeah. You know, see what people are doing, see what's hot, see what's not. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. No, I, th- I think that's, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, man. So you talked to anybody recently? How's Shanae doing? I see her. She's uh, had some pictures in Toronto. It looks like she was doing okay. She's good, I think. Um, she's putting together. I think I'm killing her with with my stuff because I sent her kind of old vision, new vision, where I want to go. Um, and she's gone away to figure out, um, you know, what a pitch looks like. So I, I'm pretty sure she's building me a pitch, um, you know, for the biz. Yeah. Um, but she's she's pretty amazing. I like her, I like her a lot. So. That looked like she was doing something with Jameson, and it looked like she yeah. was doing. You know, so she's had some, 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 some play in, in sort of your space. Yeah. Like yeah, where yeah. she's, you know, she's really diversified a lot. So. Yeah. 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 And I think, I think the, I mean, so here's one that I think if you're going to work with people, you know, Kenny and I talked about plans earlier and putting stuff on paper. I think the other thing is that big companies do well that little, little guys don't do is laying out your vision, you know, for guys like us, right? Like, so actually, no, guys like us don't really apply because we almost give you your vision. We kind of take things that you say and then carve it out into a path for you. Um, But, you know, where you can work really effectively with guys like us and then with with people downstream like Shanane is you take the things that we're telling you put them on a piece of paper, get us to put it on a piece of paper and then start communicating that out. Right. Cause people like Shanane who, you know, she's good because you're going to tell her, I want to go there, right? Like I want to go five feet down that way and then make a left and then turn a right. She's the one that can kind of, you know, lay out that pathway and then, and then, you know, kind of lay things out so that next thing you know, you're five feet down the road and there's a parade waiting for you. Right. Because Shanane's yeah work to kind of lay it out for you so that's probably something that entrepreneurs could really work on is is kind but of that but the entrepreneurs have to understand is you have to tell her this five feet down the road to the right yeah like you, you really have do. to lay that out you yeah. have to plan that now yeah. you know with someone like like us or shanane or whoever it is like you could talk to jim and Lori. it doesn't matter mm-hmm. we would all probably say okay listen i understand that mm-hmm. um here's a potential pitfall maybe it's six feet down and to the right yeah yeah. Right. I mean, that's what you use it for. But at the end of the day, yeah. it's your baby. It's not yeah. mine. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I had yeah. someone today at the bar and I said the same thing. I said, you know, this is your vision. You know, this is your why, not mine. Yeah. yeah. Right. So you tell me what you want to do with this and why you want to do it. I said, but yeah. stick to your why. Like you've yeah. got a, you've got a defined reason why you are doing this. Don't deviate. Right. Cause it started yeah. going into, well, I want to do this part of this process. Well, that doesn't match. Yeah. What your original why was. I mean, we, I mean, you can morph. It's not do, a problem. Right? Like, you know, but like, try not to morph you know, before yeah. you start. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, once you're established, if you want to go down a different path, that's fine. Before you're established, if you're already going down four paths, no, it's that's not a little work. bit problematic, right? You got to kind of yeah. focus in on something yeah. or ask, I mean, you know, if it's not the right path, I mean, yeah. anybody worth their weight, it will, will, you know, I may not be able to tell you it's wrong, but I can tell you why I don't think it's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What I think are the pitfalls. Like you judge mm-hmm. if you still want to try. Well, try. Yeah. yeah At yeah. least you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, so okay. we did. So, we did that. We did that with with your friend, right? So, you know, he wanted to go down. You know, so Kenny and I are working with a guy that wants to go down a, a certain demographic path, 
And, um, you know, when, when we looked at all of his data, it, it literally led the other way, right? So where he wanted to go to a certain age group, you know, it was, he was, he was 30 years off on his age group. Um, you know, but he was very clear, right? He like, you know, he's headed this way. He wants to go that way. And so even yeah. in that case, you know, guys like Kenny and I, like if, if it were our business, we would probably go, listen, I'm renovating the whole thing because I'm pointed this way. I'm going to go that way. But he clearly wants to go that way. And so our job wasn't to go, your vision's wrong. Our only job was to say, listen, like you want to be there in three steps. We think it's going to take four. Right. And, and we think yeah. the first two steps are pretty big. You know, you're kind of pointed this way. We've got to steer the ship this way. You know, here are the kind of key changes they need to go. Right. So at the end of the day, if, if you don't have a vision, you, you've got to get one, even if it's through guys like us so that you can get to the executional steps you have. Otherwise, you're yeah. going to hire all these people, you know, social media people, you know, people like that. And, and they're not going to work for you. Right. Because you're just not. Well, because what do you want them to do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because what happens if you don't have a clear vision, you know what they do? They just try to figure out what they think yeah. they're trying to say is the vision. Yeah. And then when they do that, now it's their bias. So you get a, a result. You're thinking, well, that's not what I asked for. And quite frankly, it's not, not what you asked for because you didn't ask for anything. Yeah. You didn't have a clear ask. Yeah. You've left it up to someone else to do. Like, that's the thing. That's the beauty of Aaron is not, I, I, again, it's not, it's not a right or wrong vision. I think his vision is fine and I admire the fact that he wants to do it. He's got his reasons why mm -hmm. he knows what he wants to do. He knows what he wants to, to be. He just needed to understand. You're right. It's not going to happen. You know, you think it's yeah. a 50 mile trip. It's not, it's about a 150 mile trip. Yeah. But yeah. So I, we can get you there. We can get it's you. Not there. a big deal. Just That's understand that it's want, not right? 50 miles an hour. It yeah. may be three hours to get there because yeah. it's a little longer trip than you think, but yeah. we can get you there. Yeah. Just in a different way. And tell you the truth, you know what? It might be a smarter way because the way we're doing it, we're going to pick up a few extra people on the way. I think so. I right? think so. Yeah. That's, that's, that was why yeah. I, was, I was totally okay with what we were, what we were trying to do with them is that yeah. all it's going to do is solidify the base he already has. And I think we got a chance to grow it. If yeah, we so. went the other way and just focused on his vision, which is not wrong again, yeah. um, I just alienate. I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill his cash flow. Yeah, for sure. Because we're going to lose everybody we have. Yeah. yeah. And I can't guarantee you that we're going to pick up those other people anyway. Like, I can't guarantee you now that we're going to grab them. Mm -mm. But I can guarantee you we're not going to lose the ones we have. Mm -hmm. And we're not going to bankrupt them in the process. No, at all. Yeah. 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 No, if anything, what we're going to do is we're going to grow the ones we have. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm really hoping, and I think, I think what we're doing is right, that we'll pick up a whole bunch of extra people on the way. Yeah, I think so. That's it. That's, so. that's, that's, that's kind of what the gig is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. At least that's a theory anyway. <laughs> there's theory and then there's in practice and then we'll see where it goes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And true. the thing is, like you said, as long as we're not, you know, as long as we're not betting his house on it, mm -mm. you know, it's not a big deal to bet the, sh bet the shed. No. We go, no, we know what we're doing. This, this, I know. This, this, yeah. I'm, I'm totally stoked on this yeah. one. Right? Yeah. I'm excited for him. He's, I, I think, I think, uh, yeah, I, I think. I think it's going to be good. Jim's on board. Yeah. You know, the, we started working on the video. Luca has done a really cool job already getting some interviews. He's excited, nice. Nice. you know, and that's going to be a young kid like you're at uh, Rachel, right? Mm -hmm. Sort of like a Rachel where, you know, these, mm -hmm. well, I mean, he's even younger, maybe he's 21, but he's going to have yeah. a couple of cool videos under his belt. Yeah. You know, he's going to have to interview you. I don't know how you guys are going to do video. Okay. Via distance. I mean, I guess you could do it this way as long as the quality yeah. is, yeah, is, yeah. Uh, is, and um, it'd be fast, fast. I think you'll, Zoom, you'll have to figure that out. Zoom is 1080. So I think we're good. And if I use this camera, this camera is a 1080p. So he should be good with it, but we'll see. I have this. Gonna him, he's going to reach out to you. I'm not doing this. Yeah. Okay. I'm not, okay. Uh, that's technical. I'm not, I'm not listen, I can't, yeah, yeah. How to, I don't know how to lower my mic. Okay. <laughs> I know how to lower my headphones. I figure that part because it's easy. I, I don't know how to do the mic. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. All right, that's the end of this Commerce Life. We'll be back soon with the next episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give us feedback. Tell us what you think. Subscribe, like us, join us, share us, tell your friends about us. And uh, we hope to see you next time with, uh, with more Commerce News.